here's our finished project. Um, we've got, it's just one speaker. The other one we're still in the process of veneering. I've got another video up there just based on the veneering. What I just wanted to talk about in this video and, and put up a few photos is um, the finishing process for these. I put up a slideshow showing the actual construction of the cabinets um, a, quite a while ago now, but what I wanted to show you was a few of the extra steps that I, I did before I got them to the stage they are at. With the baffles, I initially wanted a, a high gloss finish to them, and to be honest, I just couldn't get it right. Um, the gloss showed up any imperfection I had there, however sort of minor it was, and, and for me it was starting to get really frustrating. I had a few paint incompatibility issues. I ended up stripping this baffle back and redoing it about three times, um, each with multiple coats per attempt, uh, before I finally um, gave up and just went to a, a straight undercoat followed by a satin finish um, in black, and that hasn't got any clear coat over the top of it. And personally, I think it works quite nicely. It picks up the, um, obviously, the not gloss finish of the stand, which was a half of a railway speaker. Um, but other things I had to do to finish this off, um, in the construction slideshow, you can see um, that the actual cabinet here have got a top and bottom cap uh, of 9 or maybe 12 millimetre MDF, and also on the back. And what I needed to do was basically make sure that the surface was completely flush um, and so I did quite a bit of filling even though it didn't need a whole lot but in order to put on a veneer and not have any voids and have the veneer look nice and smooth I had to do quite a bit of, of filling and then sanding back to try and get the finish really um, uniform. The other place, the other area that I, I used a bit of the filler was on all of the raw edges of the MDF. It's a little bit hard to show you there, but basically I wanted when I when I painted this, I didn't want the surface of the MDF to take on one texture and for the cut edge of the MDF to take on another. So we really um, spent quite a bit of time with filler and sealer on all of the of these cut edges of the MDF and you can see that the finish remained quite uniform so I'm really happy with that. You'll also notice I left this little ridge along here. This was because I um, didn't really know how thick the veneer was going to be when I was uh, first building the cabinets and so I didn't want to have a, a joint here where the veneer met perfectly with the baffle and, and have a difference. You can see there is a difference in height, but because I've put that little gap down there, um, you know, from unless you sort of really got the micrometer out, you're not going to notice, and, and the finish is quite good. Um, the speaker stands, they're built per speaker. This one is actually not the matching stand for this speaker because uh, this profile isn't quite perfect. The profile of the stand was trimmed to each speaker and, be and because each speaker was built two halves um, and then brought together e each side's profile is very slightly different and um, so we, we built each stand I built each stand um, yeah to match that when I am finally finished I will basically have um, recessed bolts underneath here to bolt the speaker in place um, I've got small kids in the house and we don't want them pushing these speakers off the stand. The stands themselves, um, the base and the surface of the stands, we basically with a jigsaw patterned out the profile of the end of the sleeper and, and trim that so that fits in. Um, and you can see up underneath, not really. We've done the same under there as well. Those stands are on spikes going through to the floorboards, and um, yeah, and that's that's it. That's the finished product.